Hey everybody, John Durante over at the Jackson Realty Group coming to you once again from beautiful Boynton Beach, Florida with your tip of the week. Got a real quick tip for you guys this week. It's a great one. A friend of mine had told me about it um, and just wanted to share it with you guys. Now, as you know, being a real estate, me being a real estate broker, I, you can imagine I am out showing houses quite a bit, walking around a lot of houses, and especially this time of year, what I happen to see a lot is up by the roof and in any corner, a lot of wasp nests. And um, obviously you don't want those in your house or in or around your house, obviously, because they're dangerous. Um, but if you are into getting rid of these things, not using a pesticide, because you know obviously pesticides are not great if you have animals. Um, last thing you want is your dog out in the yard ingesting some of that stuff. So here's a great tip to get rid of wasps without using any pesticide. A friend of mine shared this with me. Now what you want to do is you want to get a strip of bacon and you want to get a stick of, of some kind. Put the bacon on the end of the stick, get a bucket of water. In the water you want to pour some dishwashing detergent like you know palm olive or, uh, or dove or whatever you guys happen to use to, uh, to clean your dishes with. Put it in there and hang the bacon over the bucket. Now put it somewhere near the wasp nest, but you don't want to put it too close, obviously, because you don't want to get stung. But what happens is the bees, uh, the wasp will come, or bees, will come and land on the bacon, and they will gorge themselves on the bacon. And when they go to take off the fly, they'll be too heavy, they'll fall into the water. The dishwashing detergent will take the oils off their wings, and they will not be able to fly, and they'll just sink to the bottom. And voila, dead wasp. So I had a friend of mine tell me this tip. He told me he did it, and there was like hundreds of dead wasps at the, end, at the bottom of this bucket. So now I didn't see it for myself, but he told me, and I believe him. So I wanted to pass that along to you guys again. Be careful of being around uh, wasp nests. Obviously, you don't want to get stung. So give that a shot if you happen to have any wasp nests around your, uh, your house and you don't want to use pesticides. Now, listen, if you are in the market for real estate, and you're either looking to purchase or sell a home and you just don't want to get stung by choosing the wrong agent, this is what I want you to do. I want you to give myself or Steve Jackson a call. There's our contact information right there. Phone number, email address. Give us a call. Shoot us an email. Let us know what you're trying to accomplish. We'll be happy to meet with you. And as real estate professionals, we will guide you through the processes of either purchasing or selling and let you know how that all works. Now, if you're not ready to meet with us just yet, right down there is a, um, a link to our blog. And from our blog, you can get to our real estate website. Lots of awesome information on our blog. Um, it's designed to keep you educated on the real estate market until you are ready to meet with us. Now, also, if you're in the market for a new home construction, stuck a link right down there. There's a great uh, community in our, in our area called Osprey Oaks. Osprey Oaks is a brand new construction, beautiful, beautiful community, and we are offering here at the Jackson Realty Group, we're offering you guys some special incentives um, if you purchase one of those homes through us. So go check out that link right there. It'll take you to the website, and it'll tell you all about Osprey Oaks. All right? Now, don't forget, if you got some wasps, get out the bacon. And if you're in the market for real estate, give us a here at the Jackson Realty Group a call. Well, that's going to do it for this week. As always, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys right here next week on your tip of the week. Have a great week, everybody.